Hello friends, welcome to Creation 3D, this is a quick tutorial about making smoke without simulation. If you want smoke quickly without waiting, this video is for you. So let's jump into video. The model I am using in this video was freely downloaded from Sketchfab. You can check there. This is the final result you will get, and you can tweak settings for getting more realistic result. First of all hide, extra objects like empty, rigs, etc. So we can navigate quickly. Select the object you want emit smoke from, and go to edit mode, then select the vertices which emit smoke, and assign them to a vertex group, so we can use it as density for our particle system. Now go to particle system, and create a particle system with emitter type. In source, select random for distribution. Check rotation, and ramp randomize phase value into 2. Now in render settings, we want to select object. For object we are using a smoke image with transparency. Add the image with, add image as plain add-on. Now we want to make a small change in smoke material. So go to shading workspace. Connect color output from image to alpha of principal BSDF, instead of the alpha output. Now connect a color ramp between alpha and color output, so we can control the color and transparency of our smoke. Now duplicate the smoke plane and rotate it 90 degree, then join the planes with Control J. By this we will get a 3D object of smoke instead of a plane. Adjust the color ramp to get your desired result. So our smoke object is ready, now go to our particle system and select our smoke object for render. Adjust the scale and ramp scale randomness into 1, and you also want to enable collision for ground plane if you want to be. Now add wind, or any other force filled, which is your choice, in my case I am using wind. Increase strength in wind properties, and then we want to change some settings in particle system, for our desirable result. Change lifetime of particle to a lower value if you want to disappear smoke quickly, for longer time increase value to a higher number, these settings will depend to the scene. Increase number of particles to a higher number for thick smoke and lower number to less smoke. Now, in physics tab, you can also change mass of our object, this make a big change in our scene. Now tweaking settings in particle system for better result, experiment with particle number, mass, scale, rotation, wind, for get better result. That's it for the tutorial, hope you learned something new from this video, have a nice day.